Hello and welcome to the evening session on day three of the 2018 World Para Athletics European Championships from the Friedrich Ludwig Jan Sport Park. A wonderful evening of action ahead of us. 30 gold medals up for grabs, 22 on the track and eight on the field as well. There promises to be some outstanding work. Martina Caironi goes in the women's long jump T63, the two-time Paralympic and world champion. Also will be visiting road race for the first time at these European Championships. Then later on, we've got Joanna Mazur after back-to-back -back titles in the women's 200 metres T11. Felix Streng, championship record in the heat for him in the men's 200 metres T64. Hannah Cockcroft and Curry Adenigan, an all-British fight out in the women's 100 metres T34. And Manuela Shah aiming for a second goal after winning 5,000 metres gold just yesterday. She goes in the 1500 metres. So I'm Tolson Tollett. Will Downing is alongside me. And what's turned out to be a lovely evening here in the German capital, Berlin. 23 degrees at present. I'm sure it's a little bit warmer than that. Not much wind to hear of tonight or feel. Where we'll be going first of all is men's discus throw F11. Yeah, it's a very strong field in this men's discus F11. It's complete visual impairment. Bill Marinkovic, who's been a three-time global javelin champion, is concentrated recently, or more recently, in the discus has been very, very successful in that in recent years. We can take a look at the field of seven for this. Pateri Pezzo of Finland, ninth of the Discus of the World Championships 2015. He's been involved in the Finnish goalball team, the European Champions in 2011. I'm pretty sure he was involved in Lordi as well when the Euro won the Eurovision. Convinced of it. Uh, is Roman Messick of Ukraine, silver in the javelin in 2015 at the World Championships in Doha and fifth in the Discus. He's now 44 years old. And those were his best results in his career. First major championship coming from the man from Bodkarecha in Montenegro, Mines Ramovic. Next up for Poland, fourth in the discus in the last two world championships, but he has been a European silver medalist in 2014. That is Miroslav Madzia. Next up for Austria, world champion three times in the javelin in the Paralympics as well, but a couple of world silvers for Bill Marinkovic. The reigning European champion for Italy next up, Anne Tapia, born in Cuba. Tapia, a big prospect of retaining his crown. Also silver in the discus at the Paralympic Games. And finally for Serbia, Dusko Sretinovic, seventh in the last two European Championships, his best performance at championship level. It's a good field, it's a terrific field, frankly. High quality, Anitapia is the World record holder setting that in April in Chiro. Potato Pizzo there. We're lucky we still have a cameraman after his introduction. It is F11. Oh, forgive him. So eight medals to go in the field of the gold variety. Pinto who on the runway in front of the home straight stand is a final of the women's T63 long jump. Finnish athlete. Der Weitsprung zone direkt vor der Tribüne als nächstes Event. Der Weitsprung der Damen T63 
63. We've got a huge amount of uh, field action very early on. This men's discus F11, the women's long jump T63. That's one of the new prosthetic categories. The women's shot put F34, which is the strongest of the seated coordination and pairment events. And then we've got the uh, new race running categories. Uh, first two finals will be in that in the next 10 minutes or so. But here's Bitso. Let's see if the Finn can fly. Well, he's taken medals before in goal ball. That one out there near the 35 meter mark. His season best is 34.50 exactly. And that'll be up there nudging in his lifetime best, almost 40 and a half meters, almost 10 meters or so further. What he has been throwing. Teddy Pezzo. Legal throw. He will go into first place regardless of where the distance ends up. 33.67 for the Finn. It's 28 Celsius, by the way. Temperature's gone up. So Roman Mezhik is next up from the Ukraine. You can see there being the F11 category, the face masks are used to make sure that it is a fully non-seeing event. Mezhik now in position. Well, that will be a, a foul there. Didn't even get out of the net. <clears throat> Made his senior debut back in 2001. So now the first evening track final here, and it is something that I'm pretty sure none of you have seen before. And on the track alongside, the women's long jump T63 with the major Italian Martina Caroni. A uh, perennial champion, of course, she used to joust quite often in the 100 metres and the long jump with Vanessa Lowe of Germany, but she's now Vanessa Lowe of Australia. So, Oriane Lopez of France from Pignan, we haven't seen her in a championship action for the past five years. Sixth in the long jump in the World Championships in 2013. And they're following the 100 metres straight. The wind is blowing in that direction, so they're landing uh, right in front of where we are, the finish line camera. Lopez, the first of six to go in this. <laughs> 29-year-old. Uh, T63. Single above knee amputee prosthetic uh, discipline, which is brand new. All of the prosthetic athletes have been moved out of the 40s into the 60s. We are very field event heavy tonight. Just to tell you, there's a lot of field action. And that is 3 minutes 16. First attempt at the competition, she sets the standard. Next up for the Netherlands, Annette Rosen, the 2006 world champion in 100 metres and long jump. She's just back after eight years out, the Utrecht journalist. So we wait for Rosen to make her first jump. 
And as we do that, we'll now go to the first track event of the evening. Yes, it's the men's 100 metres race running event. You won't have seen this before. It's very big in Scandinavia, an innovative sport for disabled athletes with an impaired balance. Those with cerebral palsy, severe arthritis and amputees. The four in this are Olaf de Silva Olofsson of Sweden in lane three, Hugo Carrera of Portugal in lane four, Henrik Eriksson of Sweden in lane five, and Nikolai Christiansen of Denmark in lane six, who won gold at the CPISRA Games in England earlier this year, and he is ranked one in the world. Korea ranked two, bronze medalist in those games. The silver medalist is ranked five in the world, Eriksson, he's in five, and the silver ranked three in the world, uh, won bronze in the 400 meters. He's stronger at the longer events. So the silver in three, Correa four, Eriksson five, Christiansen in lane six. The final of the men's 100 meters race running for the first time ever. Yeah, De Silva just shuffled in front of the line, so they'll reset. He of Sweden, two Swedes in this final, a Dane and a Portuguese. And we've got four of the top five of the world in this. First time in the IPC, World Power Athletics, but it's been part of the cerebral palsy games for a long time. So away they go and Christiansen off to a strong start in lane six for Denmark. De Silva for Sweden in lane three. Christiansen who's the CPISRA world champion. Gold in the 100 and the 200 earlier this year. He's heading out in front, and he's going to be the European champion in World Power Athletics here. It's Christiansen for Denmark who will win it. De Silva of Sweden in second. 27-24, the winning time. And it's the other Swede, Eriksson, who's coming through in third position at the moment. He's uh, in the same lane as the Portuguese Correa. He comes through in third. Great result for the Dane. Christiansen is the winner. The Silver second. Ericsson third, Correa fourth. And that was 26.96. Let's head to the women's shop with F34. You'll be seeing quite a bit of this as we've got three Germans in the field of five here. And that's a solid opening throw heading towards seven metres. All the throws coming at once, remember, it is a seated combination. F-34, coordination impairment, the least impaired of the seated disciplines. Well, Airman of Germany, sixth in the Paralympic Games in Brazil. Bronze medalist in the Europeans back in 2014 and in Grosseto two years ago. 671 with her first. That is a season best for her. 649 was her season best before that first throw. So a good way to start for Francis Herman. Season best with her first, her lifetime best is up at 7.75. Well, 6.63, so 6.71, still her best. She'll have another go now. Five athletes. In this event, including a second German who's 17 years of age, but that's the third of Hermann's throws. Hermann 
lives in Cottbus in the southern part of what was East Germany near the Czech border. Strong technique, plenty of power in this F-34 seated category. So 665 doesn't improve. She's still in first position, of course, because she is first to go. Well, the second of the race running events. Three in this, so seven athletes all together taking part. Uh, Laklia of Hungary, who goes in lane three. Asfang of Norway in four. And in lane five, it's Marika Vahinga of Sweden. So as Will mentioned a moment or two ago, this is a new event at the World Para Athletics European Championships. 25 years ago in Denmark, this sport began. Custom-built tricycles without pedals. So Hungary's Bernadette Larklia, the 19-year-old from Budapest, goes in three. Asbank of Norway in lane four. And the para athlete of the year in Sweden last year, Marika Vahinga in lane five in the yellow. And off they go and they get away pretty well there. Vahinga on the outside dip well, but it's inside lane there. Bernadette Larklia of Hungary, 19 year old from Budapest, who's currently in front, but she's being challenged there by Marta Asfang of Norway. But it looks like it's going to be Larklia who's going to hold on. But charging down the outside, it's Marika Vahinga of Sweden who's going to overtake everyone on the outside. And it looks like Vahinga is going to go through and pick up the gold medal for Sweden. Well, there she goes through in second place. Well, that could be a photo, but it looks like Marta Asbang has picked up second place and Benedict Laklia of Hungary. But there is your winner in 31.49 seconds. The 29-year-old Marika Vahinga of Sweden picks up the victory. Well, after 50 metres, she looked well out of it, but she really pushed the legs and came home. And you can see how happy she is there. Three in the race. But she goes across the line first and picks up the gold medal. So, Hammond, her fifth throw of the six, 671 her best so far. One of two Coppus athletes and three from Germany in this competition. The, the 29 year old. Javelin is a stronger event for her, but she's got prospects in this shot. She won bronze at the Europeans 2014 in Swansea and bronze uh, two years ago in Grosseto, but silver in the Javelin uh, in Italy. So Hammond's final throw on the way. 6.54 in round five. And that seems just about the same level. Maybe a couple of centimetres one way or the other. We also have Mari Bremer, Skrovronek and Charlene Kutcher to follow. It is a big night of field for German athletes. So we'll be seeing quite a bit of it, I promise you that. Six fifty four last time out, six fifty six this time. Francis Herman setting the standard. So the result of the men's one hundred meters race running, Christiansen gets the gold, De Silva second, Ericsson third, and Correa disqualified. He was in the wrong lane at the end. And there's the result of the women's race, which came shortly afterwards. Marika Vahinga of Sweden, 31-26, picking up the gold. Asvang of Norway. And it's Hungary who claims third.
Wonderful evening. The sun's out. T-shirts are on. And here is Martina Caironi. No need for an introduction here. Caironi going in the opening round of the long jump. It's a Heinen with a lifetime best of 4.24 for Belgium. Barely used the board at all. And gave away almost 20 centimetres there. Been on the top step of the podium many times in her career. And looking good here. 4.62. Caroni's in the lead. Well, Kitta goes. Heinen with a second attempt, having uh, led previously, overtaken there by Caroni. 4.24, that lifetime best in round one. A lifetime best by uh, a long way, 24 centimetres. That's a decent effort, that's beyond four metres. Used a good chunk of the board. Obviously, with the prosthesis, the plasticine could be a problem if you go too far in. So just hit the board any way you can, that'll do. Otherwise, there's a major risk of, of overdoing it. Island having one of the seasons of her life. She's improved her lifetime best to 4 metres 30, and she's edging closer towards Caroni in the gold medal spot. Very solid effort by Gitta Heinen. And Martina Caroni, the two time long jump world champion. We saw her first effort a moment or two ago. This is jump number two. Well, that one's out there near the four and a half meter mark. 4.62 with the first jump. Her lifetime best was set this year. It's also. Four eighty-eight for that one for her lifetime best set this season. That one didn't look as good. So 441 it wasn't, it was about 21 centimetres short, but she remains in first place. The final of the women's 400 metres. T20, the intellectual category. So many great champions here, including the five-time world champion, Barbara Nowitzel of Poland. Former European bronze medalist, Alona Biakshi, whose twin sister, Bernadette, is the reigning 800 metres champion right now. Sontas of Hungary, bronze in the 400 metres at the last Europeans. Kerstasi of Hungary has won a European silver. And Pai with that championship record yesterday in the heats. So Silona Biaxi of Hungary in one, Barbara Nowitzel of Poland in two, Yulia Shuliar of Ukraine, a first major championship in three, Natalia Islevetska of Ukraine, the Paralympic silver medalist and world silver medalist in four, Sabina Stenka of Poland in five, Karina Pym, the championship record holder of Portugal in six, Erika Karastasi, Hungary in seven, the European silver medalist, and Piroska Sontas of Hungary, European bronze medalist in Grosseto in lane eight, the Hungarian. Maxi, Navizio, Julia, Slavetska, Stenka, Paim, Kerstasi, Sontas. The final, the women's 400 meters. Uh. T20. So a first time, Poland and Hungary traditionally very strong in this and very well represented. Now Karina Pine got off to an absolute flyer in her heat in the semi-finals and she's done exactly the same thing here out of lane six. Now it was lane three in the semi-final and she
Chiara took everybody, absolutely everybody in the back straight. Pime knows no other way of Sporting Club to Portugal. She's done it yet again here on a lane six. Way, way, way out in front. And halfway, this is just astonishing. Navitiel trying to see where she is. She's way back at the moment, but things will straighten up. Surely our Ukraine also looks to be going quite good. And Navitiel is beginning to fight back now. It's Pime in lane three who leads for Portugal, and she is well clear. Shulaar of Ukraine in second position. It's Levetsky Ukraine. She's up in third. Stenka Poland in fourth. But Pime's going to be the European champion. It's going to be very fast. 57-34, a new European record. A new championship record for Karina Pime as she takes the gold. Incredibly for Portugal, Ukraine, silver and bronze. Shulaar and Islevetska. And that's just amazing. 57-29 has been ratified at a European record. And that was full belt running all the way through. T20, tactical now is not part of the intellectual category. Shula the silver, 58-59. Islaveska the bronze, 59-03. And she just went for it again. The world records 55-99 set earlier this year for Brianna Clark, the lady who did so well in London last year. Just like yesterday, the gun went and she ran and ran and ran. Just like that. Stenka Szymanska of Poland was at Fort Santos in fifth. What a race. It was virtuoso stuff all the way. I don't think I've ever seen a T2400 quite like that. Pine wins for Portugal. European record, championship record. 57-29. Surely you're crying the silver. And her colleague is Levetska the bronze. Well, back to the discus, and it's the man from Italy, the current European champion, Oni Tapia. Well, he's certainly given that some. You just see how close he came there to the being a foul, but he curled it around well. 38.06 for Oni Tapia. So Charlene Kosh. This is one of the three German athletes in this competition. The women's shot put F34. It's a major championship debut, 17 year old from a corpus. She was the city's elite sports student of the year full stop across the board. Born in Rheinfelden, lives in Luckau now, trains in Coppos. All around the same area. Look at that, 6.27, not far off Hermann. She's the second to go, so obviously she's in the silver medal position. Hermann's best, 6.71. Kosh's lifetime best set this year, 6.63. Does she fancy a bit more from that 6.27? Well, that's a bit further. That looks just beyond six and a half with the naked eye. Now, obviously, they lean back, but... Both buttocks have to be in contact with the seat at all times. The judges watching from behind, viewing that, as well as the judges from the side. That is humongous! It's not the lead, but it almost is. 668 lifetime best. She's only three centimeters off the lead. Well, there's always one that comes from nowhere, isn't there? Charlene Korsch of Germany, 17 years of age, throw number three. That's also good. That is in and around the same range. And Herman, obviously, in this competition, all the throws come at once. Herman is no more say. She's had a six. This is Kosh's six.
That is in and around 668 again, one way or the other. A very impressive solid throw. You'd have thought the energy might have sapped a little bit. It's heading towards 30 Celsius here. It's further still. It's 670, one centimeter off the lead. And if she throws 671, which is Herman's best, she goes in front of the count back. The men's 400 meters, T20. There is your start list for the final eight in total. Intellectual impairment category. We just saw the women's race. Karina Pime. The crowd are enjoying the afternoon. Heading into the evening. Wonderful weather. So one of the fastest losers. John Marguerite Federson of Iceland will go from one. And Yad Van Kauter will go from lane two. Also one of the fastest losers. The Carlos Lima from Portugal was the fastest from his heats. As we head back to Kosh. Kosh is having quite a time of it. Some serious throws so far. 668, 670. Once more, that is... Certainly beyond six and a half, it's shy of seven. Has she improved? Herman through 671. Kosh is in the lead, 672. Her third lifetime best in three throws. Men's 400 meter T20 in lane one at Sverison of Iceland. Van Kauter of Belgium will go in lane two. Carlos Lima, that man there in lane three. Rafael Di Maggio of Italy in four. Sandra Correa Bassa of Portugal will go in five. Mark. Johannes Hull of Germany. The home favourite will go in lane six. Cavallo Freitas, the second or third, I should say, of the Portuguese, will go from lane seven. And Kapuzulu of Turkey will go from lane eight. So you saw Johannes Hull there from Dresden. His father signed him up to Dresdner to begin his power athletics career. Hasn't done too bad so far as they get away with no problems whatsoever. And here's the man there uh, from Germany, Johannes Hull, who comes up very quickly on the outside. He's already gone past Cavallo Freitas of Portugal in lane seven. At this stage, it is the man from Germany who is absolutely flying, Johannes Hull. Coming up on the inside of him, though, it's Maria Bassa of Portugal, who's making up plenty of ground. And it's a race in two at the moment. And on the outside, also going through, it's Capuzlu, who's trying to hold with them. But coming through on the inside is Sandro Correo Bassa of Portugal in lane five, who looks like he's taking the lead, coming into the home straight. And is him as Hull tries to work with him. It's the man inside there from Italy, Rafael DiMaggio, 17 from Palermo, who's going to come through in second place. Can Hull hold on for third? But at this stage, it's lane five that takes it. And it's Sandro Correa Bassa who goes through a new championship record of 49.60. Well, Rafael DiMaggio has gone through and taken second place. But what a run there from the Portuguese. Three of them in the race. Sandro Parisio Correa Bassa. Championship record 49.60. Well, his speed was known as playing football when he was younger. Speed indeed. He's now a European champion. That's around the 200 metre mark there. You can see DiMaggio of Italy coming up on the inside. He's in second place. And Hull there really struggling as it gets to the last 50 metres. But Correa Basso out in front and the German has just missed out. He's finished in fifth position coming through to take the bronze medal as the Portuguese in lane seven. Carlos Felipe Carvalho Freitas. But there is your winner. Also from Portugal, they took first and third with Italy in the middle. Correa Bassa, a new championship record.
We have a 12 man field for our next field event final is the men's javelin F34. The Portuguese flags are flying, and why wouldn't they be? Gold to Correa Bassa. Three Portuguese in the race, two of them Three picked up medals. So the championship record from four years ago in Swansea is beaten and broken well. DiMaggio takes silver and Cavallo Freitas, a lifetime best for him, 52-1-6, the bronze. Back to Kosh, who's having some night. Isn't she just? Well, a fifth round throw was 6 metres 40. It wasn't a lifetime best. It was a major disappointment after her three previous throws had gone further than she'd ever, ever held out in her life. Growing seventh, ranked equal fourth in Europe for Poland. Has she done it again? Growing eight, also for Poland, also ranked equal fourth. 668, 671, 672. She's in the lead, the second of throw of the five. Charlene Kosh, 674, lifetime best. Let's face it, she couldn't have done any more than that. Throwing 10 is the championship record holder for Israel. Lots of action on the closing straight, particularly the great Martina Caroy, twice. Well, long jump champion for Italy. So, jump number three, Martina Caroni. Well, that's out there, further than. The four, that's a white flag, no problem there whatsoever. That looked around the five metre mark. Four sixty two with a first. Four forty one with a second and four seventy five. She improves in first place. That's Martina Cardoni from Italy. Tapia faring well on a Tapia in this men's discus F11 final. Complete visual impairment. 38.06 of the opening round, and here's our leader, the reigning European champion. Oh, that's huge! That's a massive throw. It's beyond 45 meters. His world record from April is 45.65. Tapi has done something serious there. He's broken his own world record. 46 meters, 07. Well, back we go to the long jump. And it's Gita Hannon, who's also competed in para triathlon before. So Germany again. Busy night for the Germans. And that's over the four metre mark. She's also been a bronze medalist of the World Mai Tai Championships back in 2009 at Bangkok. It's the able-bodied competition. And, uh, also reached the semi-finals of that competition back in 2008 before she came onto the Paris circuit. It was in 2010 when she suffered a serious injury while competing in Mai Tai. Didn't use the board at all there, so she gave around 25 centimeters away. Lifetime best earlier, 4.30, that 4.03. Well, here is Caironi. We saw a world record from Italian in the discus a moment ago. In Oni Tapia. Martina Caironi. Lifetime best this year of 4.88. Well, that one's well up there. That one is well up there. White flag. 
in lane three. European rank number one. Well, looking with the naked eye side on, that looks very big. It's already gone 475. 488, the best this year for Martina Caironi. She looks happy. And why wouldn't she be? 491, a new lifetime best, breaking a previous mark by three centimetres. She is well in the lead here. And there's no world records ratified until January 1st, but for now, that would be the world record in this new discipline. Here's an old classic, the men's 100 metres T11, complete visual impairment, a whole lot of disqualifications, falls, and so on and so forth. So, Timothy Adolfo France, Barton Preca, Martha of Spain, the only two who have survived up to this point. Adolf, the European champion, and you'll remember those disqualifications amazingly that denied him gold in the 200 and 400 in the World Championships in London last year. Championship record this morning. 11.16 is the European record holder, 11.11. Preko Matha, bronze of the 100 metres of the last Europeans. It'll be at least silver here. It'll be his best ever result. Even though there are two in the final, they are running for gold and silver because more than two started. So there were six in total overall. And the rest, through various pratfalls, didn't make it. It's a straight shootout for gold. A dolphin three, break a math at five. Away they go. What a start by the Spaniard. Very impressive alongside this guy, Albert Silva. A dolphin fighting back alongside this guy, Jeffrey Lamy. A dolphin's on the way to gold. And they haven't made the same mistake this time. A dolphin's the European champion again. 11.17. Unofficial. 100 of a second outside the championship record set this morning. Fantastic by Timothy Adolf, back to back goals. And that has been a confirmed time now. Breaker Matha gets the silver. His best ever charity performance on the track. Silver on the long jump two years ago, bronze of the 100 metres for the Spaniard. And he gets the silver here behind Timothy Adolf. 11.17 seconds. Here's Bremer Scottsvig in the shot. So Charlene Koch, the third of the Germans in this. They're the first three to go. Leeds at the moment, the 17-year-old. A quite outstanding lifetime best. Koch there. Francis Herman is in it as well. The Bremer Skovrenek. 6.65, she's in third position with her second throw. All six, of course, taken at the same time. It is 6.71. 6.71 is what's above her. That one looks uh, quite similar. If anything, she looks like she thinks it might be a little down on her previous throw. Just landing there between the six and the seven meter mark, you can see on that right hand side, you can see the six, seven, eight there with the black numbers on the yellow. So slightly less, 646. 19 centimetres down on throw number two. Still has three to go, though. Currently in third position. So regardless of what happens here, it will be Germany. One, two, three for the time being. Two more athletes in this. F34 shot put women's final. Well, that looks all right as well. That's pushing out towards the seven meter line. So, Bremer Skrobrenek. Thus far, her second throw was the best. What does this yield? 
Well, it yields her up to second place, 6.72 for Bremer Skopernik. Her season best is 6.94. Her lifetime best is 7.25. She won silver in the javelin at the London Paralympic Games in 2012. She won bronze in the javelin at the World Championships in 2013. She's now in the shot put. Fifth attempt. Well, that's actually that's hit the tape on the seven metre line. So that is going to be further than her fourth. So it is Kosh ahead of... 6.74, Charlene Kosh. In first position, only by a couple of centimetres at this stage. But that there looks like it might take her into the lead. Oh, it has 6.86, Marie Bremer, Skovrenek. So she'll be in first position regardless of what happens with this one. But she is just going from strength to strength and getting better each time. Well, that's tipped the seven meter marker again. Maybe not up there at her lifetime best of 7.25, but that there will certainly be pushing her season best of 6.94. It's the four Only marginally four landing in front of that seven metre marker. Oh, she likes it, 693. So she's got better and better. She's in first position. Karani in the long jump once more. Five-time world champion, twice in the long jump, three in the 100 metres. On the way with a fifth attempt, and that's another great try. 4.91 in the previous round, lifetime best, which will be a world record in this new T63 category. Once we enter 2019, that's another solid effort. Remember all of the athletes with prosthesis moving away into the 60s and no longer competing against athletes without. That could not have used the board any better. That's another beauty. Four meters, 85. Karani in pole position for the gold. Desiree Villa Bagiela of Madrid. As we go into the final round, lying in sixth position. She studied in London and Malta. Now home, sweet home. Rapidly improving athlete. Didn't use the board at all. Will be around three meters. Three seventy seven required for the medals. It's Fleur Schouten of the Netherlands who's in the bronze medal mark on can back ahead of Annette Rosen. Also of the Netherlands in fourth, Oriane Lopez of France. In fifth, equalizing a lifetime best, and that was 2.57, and Villa Barghiela finishes in sixth spot. So the women's 400 metres, T37. Five runners in total. In lane three, Natalia Yusinska, Laura Usteritz of France in four, Natalia Kobza of Ukraine in five, and Manon Genest of France in four and Adolstein daughter of Iceland on the outside. <laughs> this is the coordination impairment category. No Georgina Hermitage, the world record and European record holder. 
And away they go. Getting away very good indeed. Second from the outside is the 27-year-old French woman, uh, Manon. Genest, she's got away extremely well. And inside her, Natalia Kobza of Ukraine, a silver medalist in the World Championships in London last year, over 400 and 100. She's won gold over 100 at that event as well. And she's taking the lead at the moment from Genest of France, who's in second place. It's a battle on way back there to see who's going to come up with something. And it looks like it's Kobza there, who's working away hard on the inside, but coming around into the home straight. It's Manon Jeunesse of France who's going to lead them from lane six as they move in there. Down they come. 50 metres from home. And Kobza. On the outside of her, it's Jeunesse who's just fallen back slightly. And it's Kobza who's going to go across and take the victory. Jeunesse in second position and just working her way through there on the inside it's Usteritz who just gets herself across the line before and falling over a new championship record of 105 24 there well you can see the coordination impairment really taking effect at the end Kobzar's exhausted but she's got a championship record the Ukrainian 105 24 she finished well Manon Jeunesse was really pushing her at that stage there. The Kobza is the one who comes home in the last 60 metres or so. Jeunesse in second position. Just look behind there. Just watch Usteritz tightening up as they go across the line. There is your championship record holder. Breaking the record from four years ago in Swansea. For the Netherlands, Annette Rosen must hit three metres 74 to get above Fleur Schouten on the cat back. She's 377, Schouten 377. But Schouten's second best jump is only a couple of centimetres better than what Rosen has achieved. The journalist who we tracked back in international athletics. She retired in 2010, back this year, and welcome back too. That's a foul, and it will be fourth for Annette Rosen. Bronze at least for Fleur Schouten, a compatriot. Lopez finishes fifth, and Vila Bagalia sixth. She's got the hunger back, smell of blood in her nostrils. She's a competitor again. Oh, and she's in the plasticine. Rosen in fourth spot. Kita Hanen. The former Mai Tai World Silver Medalist. That was 08. Bronze in 09. Her Mai Tai career ended tragically in 2010. And unfortunately, her competition has ended here with a foul. Shouten will not jump again, by the way. So Martina Karani is the European champion again. It's the first time she's done it in the long jump after a couple of hundred metres triumphs in a row. Karani with what will be ratified as a world record on the 1st of January, takes the gold. Hannah the silver, her best ever result, also a triathlete, ninth in the para triathlon world championships last year, fourth in the 100 metres in the world championships para athletics last year. Silver in the Europeans here behind the great Martina Caroni. What a competition. What an athlete Martina Caroni is. Hit the board well, but just into the plasticine. So a red flag for her as well, but the European title is hers. She's waited a long time to get on the top step of the podium in this. 
but Kerani has achieved it fantastically with that 4.91. Kerani bronze in 2012, silver in 2014 and 2016, and now finally she can take the Italian tricolour and be pronounced as the European long jump champion. Well, that was absolutely scintillating. It was a good competition as well. Caroni, after a couple of silver medals, is European champion now. Caroni, the gold for Italy. Heinen, the silver for Belgium. And Schouten, the bronze for the Netherlands. On count back from Rose. Caroni who won silver in the last two European championships behind Vanessa Lowe of Germany, who's now Vanessa Lowe of Australia. And on an FIA billboard near you. My local shopping centre in Kilkenny had a Vanessa Lowe add-on. And I saw one in Estonia during the summer as well, in Estonian. But Caron is the European champion, ahead of Allen and Chowton. So there's confirmation of a championship record for Natalia Kopsa of Ukraine, Genest of France, and Usteritz of France picking up the second and the third in the women's 400 metres, T37. Twenty fifteen Italian Para Athlete of the Year. Paralympian of the Year actually. Very well deserved. And will be reacquainted with Vanessa Lowe at the Worlds next year. The final of the men's one hundred meters T forty seven. And who's won the last two European titles for Poland, Michał Teres. Ricardo Magiani of Italy, silver in the 4 by one in the world's last year. Bozilov of Bulgaria, who's in lane seven. He's uh, ranked high in the long jump and the triple jump in previous Europeans. And James Arnott of Britain in five, silver in the 100 metres of the Commonwealth Games and Gold Coast earlier this year. Grola of Germany in four is first major championship. So it's Elias of Turkey in one, Filster of Denmark in two, Deris of Poland in three, Grola of Germany four, Arna of Britain in five, Sedaitis Lithuania six, Boshilov of Bulgaria seven, and Begaini of Italy in lane eight. In T47, the final of the men's 100 meters. Way they go, terrific start by Sedaitis, and look at Deris go for Paula, the man who's won the last two European titles, it's going to be Deris all the way here, Sedaitis is going to take second, really tight, a photo for the bronze between Grola of Germany, James Arnott of Great Britain, and with the naked eye, impossible to divide them, but Michal Deris of Poland way, way ahead of the rest. The man who's won the World Championship twice over 100 metres. Bronze in London last year, a championship record, 10.77 also. Terrific silver for Danis Sedaitis of Lithuania in his first major championship. They went big at Ireland's Greta Stramakita winning gold last night in the 1500. She was born there. Look at Derosko, a marvellous huge gap. And Grola will take the bronze just ahead of Arnett, no doubt about Deris with the gold. Sedaitis, a very well claimed silver medal. Utterly uncatchable. Very close to his European record of 10.73. This T47 below elbow wrist, our um, amputee category. Solid win, European champion for the third time.
<laughs> and it was one hundredth of a second between Kerala and Ireland. Bronze in fourth place. Nihal Terras takes the goal. Championship record, 10.77. Sinaitis, the silver for Lithuania. And Grola, the bronze for Germany. So close for James Arnott. So this is the third attempt for Taiga Kantani of Latvia. In the women's shot put F34 final. It's Germany who occupy the top three places at the moment. It's Bremer Skropenek, Kosh in second, and Herman in third. Six oh one and six thirty three for Cantani, her first couple of attempts. Well, there's number three. It's an improvement. 6.55, but she stays in fourth. Decent crowd at the bottom tier again in this Frederick Ludwig Jan Sport Park. That's the result of the men's 100 meters T11 final. Timothy Rodolf from France getting the gold. Martin Pareka Mata of Spain, the silver. Plenty of Dutch interest. Very frenetic night in the field. Obviously on the track as well, we have 30 gold medals decided tonight to add to the six in the field this morning. And as you'll see, the tape touching from the two throwing events on right now. So as you can see, for Great Britain, Vanessa Wallace is being uh, put into position. Her chair, the all of a different chair, being put in. And uh, the necessary guinea pig is uh, testing it out before Vanessa Wallace gets into position. Ane Tapia has won the gold in the men's discus F11, his final throw, that brilliant world record earlier, that's shy of 35, it's 10 metres shy of what he's achieved, that 46.07 world record, he has got the gold ahead of Bill Marinkovic, that great old stager from Austria, and Dusko Sretinovic of Serbia with the bronze medal, but Ane Tapia retains his European title. Silver, remember, in Rio in the Paralympic Games, but gold in Grosseto and gold again here in Berlin. Fantastic world record earlier, and he uh, had exerted himself enough. And that's a throw of 34 41. Way behind what he'd achieved earlier, but. Well, he was winning dancing with the stars last year in Italy. He's now dancing with the discus. Forty-six oh seven world record. Only Tapia. We saw Martina Caroni just a few moments ago winning the long jump event. They've now picked up another gold medal on day three in the evening session. Only Tapia. The former professional baseball player in Cuba. European champion. In the men's discus throw, F11.
such a comprehensive margin of victory in the end. That world record throw, round three it was, 46.07. That went beyond the final line. So on a tapia, that world record, 46 meters 07. The gold for Italy, Bill Marinkovic, the silver for Austria, and Dusko Sretenovic with a lifetime best, the bronze for Serbia. Brinkovic, his first major change of gold, uh, coming back in the 2004 Paralympic Games in Athens in the javelin. Time now for the women's 200 metres T11. We just saw the T11 men's discus. We're now going to the track for the women's 200 metres T11. Two runners from Spain, one from Poland and one from Ukraine as well. Reigning champion, Joanna Majur. We'll go from lane five with her guide, Mikhail Stavitsky. Victoria Carlson, who's won the past two European long jump events, which includes yesterday's. Made it through to the final after Turkey's uh, Osnur Alamur was disqualified for a tethering violation in this heat. There's Bill Quintana. Broke her tibia and fibula in 2014 during training. Now that is an injury. The shin bone and the bone behind it as well. To come back from that is quite an effort. So Victoria Carlson will go from lane one with her guide, Magnus Belanda. Bill Quintana of Spain from three. Azure, the defending champion, will go from Poland in five. And Monguia Ortiz of Spain, the second of the Spaniards, will go from out in lane seven. Previously a rhythmic gymnastic sports person. There you can see the tether. Takes a bit of time to make sure that's in the correct position. As the athletes are caught up to the mark. So Mijou was the fastest qualifier. No surprises there. No Libby Clegg. The world record and European record holder from Great Britain. Mijou was magnificent at the World Championships last year. As a guide, Stavitsky just puts his hand up and says he's not ready. Few nerves, green card shown, no problems. Always takes a little bit longer for the T11 category. Once they're all up, takes time to go back and get themselves sorted again. Pressure on the guy to make sure that they're happy with how everything is, they're happy with the tether, they're happy with the athlete with them to make sure they're in the right position. The synchronicity has to be right. So many things to consider, so many things that can go wrong. Spare a thought from Mangira Ortiz, who's 18 years of age out on the outside lane in her first major championship. The nerves will be really jangling with her as it will be with Carlson as well. Yeah. 
Well, they're away with no problems this time, and it is the Majeur who gets away very quickly indeed there uh, in lane five. She and uh, her guide, Mikhail Stavitsky, are really moving and motoring around the band, but on the inside of them is Bill Quintana of Spain, who's pushing up there, and it's a race in two at the moment between Bill Quintana on the inside and Majeur on the outside. It's going to be a case of who can get there. Well, Bill Quintana's struggling a bit. Majeur's going ahead. It's going to be very tight indeed. Who's going to get across the line? Well, that is a photo. That is an absolute photo indeed. Majeur's put a hand out. Bill Quintana on the inside, but that was very close indeed between the two of them. Well, that is going to be a very difficult one to pick. And Bill Quintana was coming back. Majeur looked like she had it coming into the final straight. It looked like she was going ahead. Yeah, Bill Quintana looks like she's been given it. And Bill Quintana picks up the gold medal for Spain. Well, she was fourth in the lung jump yesterday. She's partnered by her boyfriend, David Alonso, and that is a magnificent victory for Bill Quintana. 23 years of age, European champion. Well, Majeur was round in the bend and it looked like she was going to pull away, as she's done so many times in the past. You can just see they're pushing on the inside at Bill Quintana. At that point, it's Majeur, but she just reaches forward and she gets it by the narrowest of margins. And out wide is Mongir Ortiz, the 18 year old Spain, who picks up no we position. Did, we didn't see it in that replay. I wonder about Mongira Ortiz and her guide, Aita Finez. Might just across the line ahead of her. Victoria Carson in fourth place might be through, but there's a celebration and a half. Well, there's the photo. Love is in the air between Bill Quintana and Alonso, her boyfriend. They'll be celebrating tonight. It's a gold medal at the European Championships. So Bill Quintana, 28.56 with the gold. Majeur, the reigning champion, she's dethroned. 28.57, Madeira Ortiz de Costa. At this date, is third. So, Vanessa Wallace of Great Britain, her second attempt in the shot put, 6.91. It's put her in a very, very strong position. Second throw, maybe even more so. 6.91 has her uh, in second place behind Marie Brammer Skrovroniek. It's uh, Germany gold, silver and bronze at the moment. Wallace of Enfield and Haringey AC, coached by Paula Dunn and Alison O'Reardon. Fourth in the shot at the last European. She's never won a major championship medal. But she has now, and it's gold. Seven metres 14. She's the last to throw. It's gold for Great Britain, for Vanessa Wallace. The best throw of the competition. And that 7.14 can only be beaten by her now. And that's beyond seven metres again. That's the middle line that she's gone beyond. She's having a terrific night. 6.93 for Bremer. Skorone. 6.74 for Charlene Kosher. 6.71 for Francis Herman, who led for a long time and now is out of the medals in fourth place. Wallace. Improving all the time. 7 metres 15. And on she goes. She's our winner. Oh, that's further. The previous two were very close to clipping that seven metre tape, but that's well beyond. By Vanessa Wallace. And by a good chunk, too. It's out towards seven and a half metres. Wallace had a season's best of 7.28, pushing beyond that. That is around seven and a half metres without a doubt. Vanessa Wallace, the European champion, and seven metres 45. Brilliant from Wallace, the European champion for Great Britain.
just shy of seven meters this time, but Wallace on the run through to victory. An improvement on Grosetto. Just messed out in the medals there two years ago in Italy. Vanessa Wallace this time will be finishing with a medal and it'll be at the gold variety as well. Disappointment in London last year, fifth there. Wonderful throw though, 7.45 at best so far. That's out there around the seven metre mark as well. Just to confirm, the uh, women's 200 metres T11 final we saw a few moments ago, it's unofficial at the moment. That result it hasn't been made official. As we watch the, the gold medalist, Vanessa Wallace. Seven thirty-two, her final one. Seven forty-five. She is the gold medalist. So now a new competition. This is the F forty-six men shot put, and Dmitry Vasilevich of Belarus has already gone out to ten meters sixty-six. Grolla of Germany there. Well, what a, a night for Phil Grolla. He's just won bronze in the men's 100 meters, barely what, 10 minutes ago by a hundred of a second ahead of uh, James Arnott. And now here he is in the men's shot put F46. The final of the men's 400 meters, T38, three in this, Abaldeco of Spain, Koalczyk of Germany, Ross Patterson of Scotland and Great Britain in lane five. Set. Away first time and Patterson away very strongly. The man from Paisley, Abaldeco Martinez has Got a great record in this, bronze in the two and the four in the last Europeans at Grisetto, silver in the one and the two in the two previous Europeans prior to that in 2014 in Swansea in 2012 in Stads Canal. He's never won a global gold medalist, he's a, a television host in Spain, a print journalist as well, Abaldeco Martinez, there's medals for gold and silver in this with three getting the qualifying standard ahead of these European Championships. As they straighten up, it's Alba Ledeco of Spain, who's well clear, Ross Patterson, fighting back for Germany in this T38 final. Alba Ledeco looking very good for Spain. Patterson trying to bridge the gap, but Alba Ledeco takes it, 55-71. Patterson gets the silver, and Kualik gets the third place for Germany. Well, he looked so assured after the opening quarter. It's the season's best for Lorenzo Albaladeco. A thumping win as he found the way past Ross Patterson on his major championship debut. But Albaladeco is European champion for the first time. Four silvers and two bronzes previously in his career in the European Championships. And well clear in the final stages. Patterson was fighting back very well. Albert Nadeko getting the gold. Ross Patterson the silver for Great Britain. From Paisley, the St. Mirren fan who won the Scottish Championship last season back in the Premiership. Maybe they'll give him a lap of honour in the next home game after he's back. That's what Fenerbahce did with Ramit Guliev after he. 200 metres 
across town a fortnight ago. Patterson did very well with that self. Alba Ledeco takes the gold to cap off what has been a terrific career. He's still only 28. His seventh major championship medal and at last it's gold. Lorenzo Albaladeco Martinez is the new European champion. Patterson the silver and Koala is there. How calm are you? Extremely. Here's Skuya with his first attempt, the uh, reigning European champion from Lithuania. Lifetime best of 14.39 set this season. Throw number one for him. Not bad indeed. That's the 14 meter mark you can see there. Just shy by the looks of it. Made his senior debut back in 2015, three years ago. Did Skuha. Well, he's in first place, just short of 14 metres, 13.96 for him. 43 centimetres short of his lifetime best. So there's still plenty of work there. Misha Abrangabov won 2014 gold in both the shot put and the discus. What can he do in 2018? The man from Ukraine. Good power. Good technique, good balance. No issues there. The only issue is just how far did it go? Well, there's your answer. 1463, we have a new leader. So many, many German athletes in action this evening. Two in this event. We saw Phil Groller recently. Matthias Uwe Schultz. With his first. 1480 is best so far this year. That's out there. Well, that's midway between the 14 and the 16 marker. So do the math on that. And you can work out it's around 15. Not up near his lifetime best, that's 15.31. He was silver at the World Championships last year in this event. Won bronze in 2014 in Swansea. Silver in Grosseto. Well, he's heading for gold at the moment, 14.92. Schultz leads the F46 men's shot put final. The final of the women's 200 metres T13, least visual impairment. Some great champions in this, including the reigning world champion over 100, 200 and 400. The Paralympic champion over 100 metres, Leila Atsamatova of Ukraine. Carlotta Petali of Italy is in one. Carolina Duarte of Portugal is in two. Bronze of the 400 metres of last year's world championship and the reigning European 100 metres champion. It's Amatova Ukraine in three, reigning world champion over 100, 200 and 400. Natalie Nielsen of Sweden in four. Jana Engeleiter of Germany in five. Orla Comerford of Ireland in six. Lucille Rasset of France in seven. Alice Mateis of France in eight.
away first time. It's Amatova and Duarte, the reigning world Paralympic European champions. The big battle in lanes three and four surely, and that's how it's turning out at the moment. As they straighten up, it's Amatova who's out in front ahead of Duarte. It looks like Orla Comerford, a final is up in third position at the moment. It's Amatova pushing away well for Ukraine. The world champion, Paralympic champion, has taken the European crown. Duarte is dethroned, and Orla Comerford of Ireland gets the bronze. What a race that was! 24:78, the winning time. That's a championship record by well over a second, and it's close to Adjamatova's own European record. Ah. Adjamatova absolutely dominated that. Uh, fabulous display by her. Duarte in second. 25:38 to Adjamatova's winning time. That championship record time, and all are coming for a third for Ireland. 26-76. They've now won four gold and a silver out of six athletes in a fourth place from the other one. And Zamatova absolutely dominant with that 24-78, the championship record. She knew this was going to be a very tough one with Duarte, the ready European 100 meters champion on her outside. But Zamatova got the head down, dominant over the 100 meter distance. She's the world champion over the three basic sprints and now she's got another and cover for it through for a bronze for Ireland of Rahini Shamrock well that was a scintillating race and very fast times around uh, close to a lifetime best for Duarte she was only 800s away it wouldn't have helped even if she'd broken it by 800 because that Zamata was so far in front winning by 0.6 of a second and there's some good quality across that field. Bertoli, who was fourth a time ago, is if Bragamov goes for the shot. Bragamov's second attempt, 1463, is in second position. Well, that will not be an improvement. That was well short of the 14 meter mark. Matthias Uwe Schultz of Germany leads with his season best of 14.92. He threw a couple of moments ago. Bregamov with his second is a foul. So no improvement for the Ukrainian. Here is the man in first place, Matthias Uwe Schultz of Germany. Two Germans in this event. And that one won't be an improvement for him either. So, the Bragamov before him, much worse than his first. He fouled. And I think you're fine. This might be a foul as well. There you go. Walked straight up the front of the circle, realised there wasn't anything that he wanted. He said, I'll take the foul instead. So, Schultz still leads 14.92. So the men's 100 meters T35, no, your eyes are not deceiving you. There are only two in this event. Coordination impairment category. Off they go. This is Jordan Howe of Great Britain who takes the lead from Ihor Tivonov of Ukraine. It's Jordan Howe who's just like, sorry, he's going to hold on. He's being caught now at the end. And Jordan Howe is going to be caught on the line by the Ukrainian athlete, Ihor Tivonov, who's just clipped him on the line. Well, it looked like Jordan Howe had picked up the victory. Made his senior debut back in 2012 with the Paralympic Games. This man here, though, has beaten him home. Spitov, what a second half of the race. 12.77. Gold in the 100 and 200 metres at the Paralympic Games. Back in Rio in 2016. He took gold in both events last year in London as well. His first European Championships and... Look at the speed in the second half. Jordan Howe there. Looks like he's got it. But Svitov and the final 50 metres, he rockets home to take the victory by around a metre or so. Well, it looked like there, as if Jordan Howe had actually got out to a fast start. It could have been that Svitov actually was just slow out of the blocks. It wasn't called. It might be a steward's inquiry. It doesn't matter, though, because that man there... Svitov has taken the victory. 
in the 100 metres T35 category. Well, good sportsmanship to win the race. Ukraine win. Great Britain second. 0.11 of a second between them. So, championship record for Lelia and Zamatova of Ukraine to win the women's 200 meters T13, 24.78 seconds. Carolina Dwight, the silver for Portugal, or Le Comerford, the bronze for Ireland. Here's Turkey's Hamza Dogan in the men's shot put F46. His third attempt. He's in fourth position. Lifetime best for him. Bronze medalist two years ago in Grosseto. Well, that's only just over the 12 meter mark. In the immense jamming, 12.02 with his first, 12.32 lifetime pass with his second, but that won't be improving. No improvement, still in fourth place for Durgan. Andreas Skuha of Lithuania. 13.96 with his first. Foul with his second. This is third attempt. Currently in the bronze medal position. He is the reigning champion. He's got some work to do. Let's up over the 14 metre mark by the looks of it. That's not going to make an indent on first and second place. It will improve him though if he gets over the 14 metre mark. If he wants to get up into first or second position, he's going to have to set a new lifetime best. Pretty sure he hasn't done it with that one. His lifetime best at 14.39. That's 14.20. It is an improvement, but he's still third. So the men's 200 metres T64 below knee amputees for single leg prosthetics. Felix String of Germany, the home favourite. Broke the championship record in the semi final. The man who was born in La Paz in Bolivia. Loads of German interest here on the evening session on day three of seven of the World Para Athletics European Championships. Alaise of France of the Jean Baptiste variety. Went through as a fastest loser. Ronald Hertog. He's been in the javelin, he's been the long jump in the past. His compatriot Vlut in lane seven. So it's the Emmanuel de Marino of Italy who'll go from one. Jean Baptiste, the Lays of France in two. Dimitri Pavard, also of France in lane three. Felix String of Germany in four. Ronald Hertog of the Netherlands will go in five. Simone Managrasso of Italy in six. Levi Vlut. In seven from the Netherlands and Avila Shemoto of Spain. But they'll be trying to beat that man. Felix Streng, championship record in the heat. Twenty-two thirty-six that championship record set by Felix String. He also holds the European record as well.
And the string gets away very well indeed. He's already got up there on Ronald Herzog's shoulder and he's flying around there. Also going with him, Simone Manegrasso of Italy. And Herzog's now starting to really wind up, but it's Felix String, the home favourite, as they go in with about 70 metres to go. And String from Herzog, from Manegrasso out wide. And it looks like it's going to be those three. Let's just have a look at the time, shall we? And Felix String goes across 21 87 for him. Well, that will be a new championship record, breaking what he did in the earlier round. Ronald Herzog in second place and coming through there, Simone Managrasso, but it's that man there from Germany, Felix String. Well, what a day it's been for him. What a day indeed. 21-88. He has absolutely smashed that record he set earlier. Absolutely smashed it. Congratulations all round. Felix String. He only took up para sport six years ago. He won the 4x100 para gold at the 2016 Paralympic Games, but he showed what a 200 metre runner he is there in the men's 200 metres T64. Never in any doubt, he went up on Ronald Hurtog's shoulder straight away as they got away. And he was out of sight. He was gone. They saw nothing but Felix String from behind. There he is, five, six, seven, eight metres ahead. Herzog's trying, Manegrasso's trying, the rest of the field are trying, but it's Felix String by some distance from Herzog. And Manegrasso of Italy picks up the bronze, but it's all about Felix String of Germany. Two championship records in as many races. And if anything, he just slightly pulled up towards the end. He's looking at the clock. He's looking at the crowd. He's looking at gold. Happy days indeed for Germany and for Felix String. A beautiful evening, a beautiful race. The best analogy that can be drawn there, absolute perfection. So there it is, Felix String, championship record in Berlin. He's a winner of the gold medal, 2188. Herzog of the Netherlands with silver. And Simone Managrasso, a lifetime best for him in Italy, 23.11. So, Schulter in the shot put, 14.92, his best so far. And he smashes his own championship record, the new European champion, Felix Strang. That good enough for the lead. There were uh, quite a lot of fouls in the second round. Four of the six throwers had no throws. That looks just shy of 15 metres again. It brag him off in second position, 14.63, and Skoya in third, 14.20. But Schultz at top of the pile with that 14.92. Has he improved? It's close to that same mark, of that there's no doubt. He's improved by two centimetres, 14 metres, 94. But Felix Strang, a worthy champion. Smooth rhythm of a champion. Good friends with uh, Ronald Hertog. Nice to see him up in the medals as he takes the silver for the Netherlands. Well, from a German who has just won a gold medal to a German who's at the bottom of the pile, he's got some work to do, Phil Groller. He's in sixth position, his fourth attempt. 10.53, his best to date. Well, he has won a bronze in the 100 metres, just uh, about 10 minutes before this competition got underway. And that's shy of 12 metres. Uh, he won't break into the top four, but he might move from sixth to fifth above Vasil Solic. Uh, 10.13 and 10.53 so far.
Greller from Wolfsburg. Bayern Munich fan, how did that happen? 10 minutes 57, he stays sixth. Sport in the family, his father was a professional handballer, he's an athletics coach now, his mother Heike, a triathlete. His uh, father, Jürgen Griller, is his coach as well. Well, back to the track. Two to go in this one. Great Britain up against France. Sally Brown against Angelina Lanza. The women's 400 metres T47 final. Sally Brown, the partner of Johnny Peacock. You may know his name. He's taking a year out after his uh, dancing exploits on the TV. Cracking the moves away was Johnny Peacock. It was a brilliant to watch. Time for Sally Brown to crack the moves away now. The Northern Irish lass. Up against Angelina Lanza of France, who trains and lives in Lyon. Made her senior debut at Doha at the World Championships back in 2015. Bronze there in both the 100 metres and the 200 metres at the Grosseto European Championships two years ago for Lanza now. Browns. Best of third over 200 metres. What can she do? Over four. We're about to find out. And they get away with no problems whatsoever. And Lanza, if anything, gets away the quicker of the two. She's just skipped out to a, a slight lead. There's, of course, the upper limbs affected by the lack of power or movement in the T47 category. This is the women's 400 metres. But Sally Brown is doing it rather nicely at the moment. And she just tries to reel in. Lanza with around 200 metres left in this race so the distance really hasn't narrowed too much if anything maybe a metre or two but it's Lanza of France who's out in front at the present time from Great Britain and Northern Ireland Sally Brown who's now looking to come into her own as they come into the final 100 metres Sally Brown trying to reel in Angelina Lanza of France. She's doing her best and she's doing a mighty fine job of it, but has she got enough left in the tank with 50 metres to go? Lanza kicks again and it looks like Lanza's going to hold off the challenge of Sally Brown. She does it that. She goes across in a time of 103 26. And Sally Brown goes through in second place. She narrowed it somewhat in that last 100 metres, but she couldn't narrow it enough. And in the end, it's Angelina Lanza who leads from start to finish in a time of 103.26. So back to the shot put. Bragamov, currently lying in the silver medal position with that 14.63. He's had two fouls since then. <laughs> 30 centimetres away. And that is passed around the 12 metre line. And he has walked through the line. It's another foul against the Bragamoff. He stays in second place. Schulter still in the lead by 31 centimetres. So, my dear. Disappointment then for Bragamoff. Another. Foul for him, so three in a row for the man from Ukraine. Here's your leader, though, Schultz of Germany. That's out over the 14 metre mark or thereabouts, but it won't be an improvement on what he has so far. His season best for 1494. 1492 in his first, foul in his second, 1494. And his third, and this one, is a foul as well. And we've had four out of the so Matthias Ube, Schultz remains in first place. Sibragamov of Ukraine second, and Skuha currently in third. Phil Groller, the second of the Germans in this one. 10.57 was his... Best to date. Loads of work to do for him. F46, the upper limb impairment category. 
10.64, well that's an improvement, it stays though as he was trailing at the bottom of the pile. Gorgeous evening. Been some gorgeous track and field as well. So next it will be on Let's the see. First major championship for the young Minsk postman, Dmitry Vasilevich, 20 years old. Minsk where the European Games are on next year. That's towards 12 metres. will not overtake Dogan is on 12.33. Well, if you're a fan of rivalries, don't go anywhere. We've got something special coming up on the track soon. Vasilovich, fifth place, so it's 69. Dogan of Turkey, who lives in Istanbul, bronze, in the shot at the last Europeans in Grosseto. Fifth in the javelin he was, and fourth in the shot in the previous Europeans in Swansea. So Dogan needs to be going if he is to get up into the medals. And that's out there around the 12 metre mark. So it is not going to improve for the Turkish athlete. Skuha third, Ibrahimov in second, Schultz in first. This man is fourth, 12 metres exactly. The final of the men's 200 metres T37 features the new 400 metres European champion Michal Kokoski of Poland, the silver medalist of that Yaroslav Okopinski of Ukraine, bronze medalist Raman Clark of France, and the fourth place of Paul Kyogen of Ireland. So it's Clark of France in one, Erban of Slovakia two, Okopinski Ukraine three, Rhys Jones of Great Britain and four, the Commonwealth Games bronze medalist, Sabradinsky of Ukraine and five, Kyogen of Ireland in six, Kokoski of Poland in seven, and back Peterson of Denmark in lane eight. The final of the men's 200 metres, T37. So way first time, Kokoski looking for an impressive sprint double here out of lane seven, and he started very well, Kokoski, and Kyogen is moving up for Ireland as well, remember all the cover for Ireland winning a bronze earlier and here comes Rhys Jones for Great Britain, it's Jones against Kukowski for the gold, Sabranowski is moving up as well, Sabranowski is overtaking Jones but he won't overtake Kukowski, Sabranowski takes the silver for Ukraine or Kapinski I think on the bronze for Ukraine, ahead of Rhys Jones in fourth place who is battling for the gold and who doesn't get the bronze in the end, Kukowski wins it. He does the 200-400 double. It's a lifetime best, 24.10. A big fan of Adam Kuchot. Gold in the 800 metres in the European Athletics Championships cross town a fortnight ago at the Olympia Stadion. Well, this man now has two golds for Poland. The Bregamont back to the shot put, the men's shot put F46 final. In second position, this is fifth attempt. 1463 is best to date. 1494 is what Schultz has, who's in the lead, the German. The pressure on a Bragamov. Well, it's out over 14 metres, but it's not going to be anywhere up near the leader from Germany, Matthias Uwe Schultz. Chalk covering his face and neck. But it's Silver, which will be covering his body soon because he's running out of time. If he wants to get that gold medal. He'll have one left after this one. 
No improvement, 14.41. He stays second with one left to go. Schultz, the leader, has two remaining. And here will be his penultimate throw of six. So Schultz of Germany. Well, that's out there over the 14-metre mark. And as what happened a moment ago with Ibrahimov, it won't be any better. But he's in the driving seat. Third foul. Throw number three is his best so far. So a huge women's 100 metres T34 final. Hannah Cockroft, 17 major championship gold medals, up against the woman who beat her at the anniversary games a few weeks ago in London with the new world record, Kari Edenikin. Joyce Lefebvre of Belgium, the European bronze medalist, and the former European champion, Amy Simmons of the Netherlands, in this also. Great anticipation in the crowd here. Cockroft against the Denigan. Cockroft, the ten times world champion, five times Paralympic champion. She's never been beaten in a championship race. 17 goals in her career, aiming for 18. A Denigan seeking her first. Amy Simmons, the 2012 European champion in six. So Cockcroft in three, Lefebvre four, Edenigan five, Seaman six, the women's 100 meters T34 final. <laughs> so away they go first time, Edenigan off to a good start, can Cockcroft respond? Remember it was a very good 16.80 seconds in London last month for Edenigan, Edenigan's got the upper hand over Cockcroft here and looks like finally Cockcroft going to lose a jump to final. It's Edenigan who beats Cockcroft. 17.42 seconds, it's a photo for the bronze. Great Britain gold and silver. And finally, for the first time in her career, it is Carrie Adenigan, the European champion. It's a new championship record for Carrie Adenigan. Away very well in that sky blue chair for a home city of Coventry. Cockroft, who studied journalism in Coventry, now turned over by a native of that city. Finally, only been beaten twice in the last decade, virtually. Now three times, and it's a first championship defeat. Lefebvre wins the bronze for Belgium. A delegate always away very, very strongly. And this time, as was the case at the Olympic Stadium in London at the anniversary games, in late July, Edenigan stayed out and in control, and it is Edenigan's title. At long last, the woman who was a viewer in 2012, loved what Cockcroft was doing, got her into para-athletics, and she's beaten Cockcroft in a major championship now. The third third, Siemens fourth, but the European champion is Carly Edenigan. 17.38, a new championship record. A fabulous victory. Two athletes with the greatest respect for each other. One of sports' great rivalries now. A Denigan gold, Cockroft silver, the Vem the bronze. Back to the field we go. And Skuha of Lithuania, his final attempt in third position, he's 14.20, the leader, Schultz, 14.94, Silva, if he wants that, 14.63, he's got some work to do. He's got some work to do indeed, he won't be improving, he'll be taking a bronze medal. So he won gold two years ago. He's only picking up bronze here. 
red flag. So we just saw the women's 100 meters T34. It's time now for the men's. They're just about ready to go. Henry Manny, his brother Thomas, is in javelin action today as well. He's going from three. He's the championship record holder. Boyan Mitic is his ninth major championships. will go from lane four. Ben Rowlings is switched from para swimming in 2010. He was bronze in 2016. will go from lane five. Stefan Roosh of the Netherlands. Fourth in Grosseto two years ago. And Sean White of Great Britain, the 21-year-old, his first major championship from Sutton and District Athletics Club in South London. And away they go, and the second from the outside, Stefan Roosh, who's got away quickly indeed, but now Manny is working hard on the inside, and he's trying to push back now, but it's Stefan Roosh of the Netherlands. He was fourth two years ago. He's going to be in goal position this time. That's him from Manny, and then Ben Rowlings of Great Britain, who comes home and picks up a medal as well. Well, that is brilliant work indeed from that man there, Stefan Roosh. Well, he got away quickly indeed. A championship record. We just saw one in the women's a moment or two ago. We've seen one now in the men's from Stefan Roosh. He's improved on what he did two years ago. Fourth there, the Dutch athlete. His girlfriend is Marley Van Rijn, who's here to watch him. She's not competing, but she's here to watch. The multiple world Paralympic and European titles for her. There's a European title for Stefan Roosh. Boyan Mitty is picking up third position. He's been around for a long time. This man, Stefan Roosh, though, from the Netherlands, is the gold medal winner. Shot put, and here's the man at the top of affairs. It's going to be another success for Germany, for Schulze. 14.94 in the third round, and he is the European champion. He's broken the plane, it's a red flag, it doesn't matter. Matthias Schulze has won the shot put. F46. 14.94, his best, to bring him off the silver. 14.63, and Andreas Skoya, the bronze for Lithuania. 14.96, But in the end, what a rush by Rush to take the 100 meters T34. It was a championship record as well. Just watch how fast he gets away on the outside here. He was gone straight away. And Manny tried on the inside. Rowling's tried for Great Britain, but it's Boyan Mitic, who's in front of him. It's Rush, it's Manny, it's Mitic. Gold, silver, bronze. The speed that Stefan Rush got out of there. Just blew Sean White away on the outside. Henry Manny, he was the championship record holder. Not anymore. That man is now. Jumping third, representing Great Britain. And that's why 16.14 for the U European champion, Henry Manny from Finland in second, and Boyan Midis of Switzerland picking up bronze. Schultz continuing the celebrations. Jumping and such a strong field event nation Germany is, of course. So the result then of that men's shot put competition with gold going to Germany in the F46. Matthias Schulze, 14 meters 94. And Bragamov, the silver for Ukraine. And Andreas Skuja, the bronze for Lithuania. New event for you, the oh, final of the women's long jump T38. Lindy Arve with the gold in the 
of 400 metres earlier this week. In terms of the long jump, she has never medaled previously, but finished fourth in the World Championships in London. Well, that's Tona Vesiak of Poland. In lane five, representing Greece. Looking to set the scene. We're in, uh, in lane six, for Italy. It's, uh, big red X against her. She was onto the plaster scene. But uh, she, uh, a prime candidate for this as well. 472 is a lifetime best, which is the second highest as we go into further track final action. The men's 200 meters, T62, the European and world champion Johannes Flores of Germany is going in this. Flores in three, Lanfrey of Italy in four. Malakopoulos of Greece in five, his first major championship. Campiotto of Italy in six, fourth in the last Europeans two years ago. Dennis Bess of Belgium in seven in his first major championship. And Sev Digaklis of Greece in eight. So away they go. Flores will be the hot favourite in this. Defending his title in lane three. Very solid start as well by Landry, but Flores really is flooring it straight away. And surely the main battle now is for the silver medal. Look how far he is. 20, 30 metres clear. Johannes Flores of Bayer Leverkusen is going to be very, very fast indeed. It's 21.36. That's magnificent. And it's Malakopoulos in second place. Landry gets the bronze. It's T62. It's a new category. 31, 37. And Flores retains his title superbly. That can be ratified as a world record on the 1st of January. 21.37. The gold for Flores. And he wasn't hanging around. Well clear of Malakopoulos. Towards the end, as he battled with Lanfrey of Italy for the silver medal. Look how far clear Johannes Flores was in the end. The defending champion over 200 and 400 metres and also helped Germany to four, to four by one glory in Grissetto two years ago. A massive margin of victory. Three seconds clear of Malakolovs in the end. With Landry getting the bronze. It is still Thomas Manny of Finland leading, Mikhail Lam of Poland in second, and Thomas Palinski in third. The athlete in the circle at the moment is Yanni Soria of Finland. Johannes Flores retains his European title. 21.37 seconds for Germany, with Malakoblis the silver medal for Greece, and Landry the bronze for Italy. The world champion over 200 and 400, the European champion over 200 and 400, as we join the European women's 400 meters champion, Lindy Ave, in this women's long jump T38. It's the least impaired of the coordination impairment categories. It's around four and a half meters, 458 her lifetime best set this year. Fourth in the long jump of the world championships in London, Sixth in Rio at the Paralympic Games and actually sixth in the last European Championships in Grissetto two years ago. A series of fouls so far in this. She barely clipped the board, gave 20 centimeters away. But it won't matter. Lindy Arve is our new leader. Four meters 52. She goes 18 centimeters clear of Great Britain's Ali Smith. Ado Atiene, Lithuania, 4.65, her lifetime best. And that's a red flag. She went straight through onto the plasticine. Disappointing start to the competition for the Lithuanian. Went straight through, and that is 
four of the six athletes in this competition with a first round foul. Ranked third, ranked second in Europe for Netherlands. Luca Eckler of Hungary. One of those who fouled in the opening round. And ranked fourth, the European record holder and the world silver medal. A major championship debut from Sean Metelli. Way off in the west of Hungary, the 19 year old. Coached by Susanna Orossi, and she's got the takeoff right there. Plum on the board, out to five meters. That's a really good attempt. That is a sensational attempt by the world record holder. She set it in Paris back in June, five meters 47. She's become a prime candidate in her first major championship. That might be the attempt that wins her the gold. Championship record 463 from four years ago. And that's now been broken. Five meters, 24 for our new leader and championship record holder, Luca Eckler. For the men's 400 metre T54, Leo Pekatani taking place in this. He won 200 metres gold yesterday. Kenny Van Vigel of the Netherlands with the silver. Richard Kiyosaro of Great Britain is a non starter. Nathan Maguire of Great Britain will start though. He took bronze over 200 metres. That is his first major individual medal. Well, I did win four by 400 gold at the 2016 European Championships there. Ludwig Malta of Austria won World Junior Gold on 800 mark. metres and 1500 metres in Notville last year. For those to look out for, Van Vigel next to him in three. And Leo Pekatati of Finland will go in lane five. Set. Two from Great Britain, of course, Nathan Maguire, who I mentioned there, and Dylan Le Broy in Germany, also with one athlete going there in David Scherer. But uh, getting away very quickly indeed, though, it's Leo Pekatati, as you would imagine, and Kenny Van Beagle's trying to go with him. It's Pekatati, though, who's leading down the far side. And at the moment, it's Kenny Van Beagle, who's he's in fourth position, but when he comes around that bend, you would expect him to come up there into a much better position than he is at the moment. So it's Leo Pekatati of Finland, who's going for the 200 metres, 400 metres double. Kenny Van Beagle is moving around into second place on the outside of Leo Pekatati. It's the man who picked up bronze in the 200 metres, Nathan Maguire of Great Britain, who's now up to the silver medal position, but it's Leo Pekatati in lane five. He goes through and takes the victory in 46 72, a new championship record for him. And coming through to take up the two other places, Kenny Van Beagle and Nathan McGuire looks to take the silver medal. But that is a championship record for Leo Pekatati, a 200, 400 double, 46, 73. Brilliant work from the Finn. Well, what an athlete he is. The same three who picked up the medals yesterday in the 200 metres in a slightly different order. Leo Pekatati right from the start. He went up on Nathan Maguire's wheel. He went around him and after only 150 metres, it was just a case of who was going to hunt down Leo Pekatati. Nathan Maguire tried. He got bronze in the 200. He gets silver in the 400. And Kenny Van Vigel, he's been around for what seems like an eternity. Four World Championship goals for Van Vigel, two European Championship goals. He's got himself a European Championship bronze here. But that man there, Leo Pekatati, has done the double over 200 and 400. Back now to the long jump. Women's T38 final, and it's Lindy Av of Germany. Arve, the 400 metres champion from earlier this week. 
Now lying in the bronze medal position, 4.52 in the opening round. But what a leap by Luca Eckler. The new world record holder, 5.47, this 19-year-old discovery, 5.24. Lindy Ave will probably need a lifetime best to go any higher and she's pushing it and pushing it and that's a red flag. She was very close in the first round to her lifetime best, only six centimetres away, but that goes beyond. Set a championship record for five metres 24 in round one. We're now halfway through round two. Stays in third position. She's been overtaken by Anna Turner-Vetsiak of Poland. The bronze medalist of the Paralympic Games and in the World Championships who went out to 4.58 after a, a foul in the opening round. So there is the men's 400 metres T54 confirmation of that result. Championship record of 46.73 for Leo Pecatati, Nathan Maguire in second and Kenny Van Vegel picks up a bronze. Ada Martini of Lithuania. Well, what a varied career she's had. She's the three-time world champion, once in the javelin, once in the long jump and finished silver in the long jump uh, two years ago. This is T38. It is the least impacted of the coordination impairment categories, but obviously uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, very heavily impacted. Finished fourth in the long jump in London in 2012. She's from Klaipeda, that uh, great coastal resort on the west coast of Lithuania. Four metres, 16. And she's lying in fifth place. So the women's 200 metres T36 for coordination impairment. Two racing, Ankina of Ukraine from Dnipro and Nikolazic of Germany on the outside and they're away. And it's uh, Nikolazic who gets out to a early lead but she's been chased down. This is the coordination impairment category so you will see them tighten up as they come towards the end but it's Germany who leads Ukraine. Nicole Nikolitsik of Germany. Can she hold on with around 30 metres to go? She's been chased down by Henkina of Ukraine, but it is going to be Germany who goes across and takes the victory. 31.88 seconds. So it's outside the championship and the European record, but it's a victory for Nicole Nikolitsik of Germany. 23 years of age. Oh, well, she's finding her older sister, Claudia, into para sport. Claudia, a multiple Paralympic sprint medalist. Her sister, Nicole, is a European champion. First major championships for her in London last year. Solid out of the blocks. Solid in the home straight. And solid across the line. As Sankina in the background there, just doing her best. The Ukrainian to try and race her down, but... It wasn't enough. The form was good from Nicole Nikolitsik. And there's the joy in the face. Maybe mixed in with a bit of pain as well. But she's happy. She's picked up victory and gold. Nicole. Well, she's being interviewed down the track at the moment as we head back to the long jump. Fernandez then, who we've already seen on the track this week, she won bronze in the 400 metres. That was a very impressive result for the 49-year-old who won Paralympic bronze in 2000 in Sydney. You were just starting your professional sporting career then. I was a lot younger. Fernandez, who finished sixth in the long jump at the World Championships in London and 11th in the long jump at the Paralympic Games in Rio. And that is a red flag. 
So that is three no jumps for her so far. Well, Fernandez just pacing it wrong. She was well into the plasticine. And a foul by the uh, veteran Portuguese who's been winning major championship medals for the last uh, 18 years. She's had three Paralympic Games under her belt. Curious, she tends to skip them. 2000, 2008, and 2016. So let's have a look at Ali Smith now, a lifetime best. Has her in fourth position, 434, but she needs to add another 19 centimeters to it to get into the bronze medal position. Ali Smith of Guildford and Gdalming AC, her first major championship. Silver in the 400. That is a white flag by the looks of it. I'm not sure if she's improved terribly much on that 434. 420 in the second round. And this round three. Ave is 4.52, Trenovetiak 4.58, and Eckler with our championship record 5.24 looks good for the gold already. Well, you just saw the look on Ali Smith's face there. I don't know whether you caught it when she walked away. She sort of, you can see she wasn't really happy with it. There's the reason why her first, much better, eight centimeters shy of that first. It's a PB with the first jump, but she's still in fourth position. The finals keep on coming. The men's 400 meters, T53, Fairbank of France, Monaghan of Ireland, Jomny of Great Britain, Brignani of France, Castaldi of Italy, and Callum Hall of Great Britain are the six in this final. The great Pierre Fairbank, Paralympic and world champion in his day, and who won gold to the 200 and 800 meters in the Europeans in Swansea four years ago. He's the 200 meters Paralympic champion, Sydney 2000, and a world championship, 98 Birmingham in 2002 in Lille. Mo Jomny, European 200 meters champion from two years ago. Patrick Monaghan of Nace, County Kildare in Ireland in lane four. His father was the All-Ireland Football Final referee in 05. So we're away. Fairbank, Monaghan, Jomney. Brignone, Gastaldi and Hall, the six in this final, could start actually by Gastaldi in seventh, the major championship, David Hall, the unknown quantity, the 35-year-old, Jomni and Brignone beginning to come into the four in the back straight, very strongly. Brignone is going very, very well, and Jomni in five for Great Britain from the Weir Archer Academy, Kingston upon Thames. Gold on the double, 200 in the 4x4, two years ago, two silvers and a bronze on top of that. As they straighten up, Pierre Fairbank for France, Brignone for Italy. Fairbank well clear, man who's been winning major titles since 1998, and now 20 years on, he's the European champion. Fairbank takes him, Brignone second, and Jomni after that great start gets the bronze. Castaldi is fourth, Monaghan fifth. And Callum Hall in sixth place. 50.47, the winning time. And that smashes Jomney's championship record from four years ago. Brignone also inside that. 51-91. So France, 1-2. And Great Britain get the bronze through Mo Jomney. Fantastic from the Frenchman. European champion at the age of 47. Well clear at the end of Nicolas Brignon in second. And John Neiman further back in third. 53-03 for the former champion. But Fairbank comes top of the pile in emphatic style. 50-03. .47 seconds. It's outside the season's best, but that scarcely matters for such a great campaigner.
Pierre Fairbank smashes the championship record, gets gold for France, 50.47 seconds. Silver to France and Brignone. Bronze for Britain and Yomni. Here's Lindy Av again in the long jump, lying in the bronze medal position. So what has she got to improve on? 4.52 with a first. A foul with a second. It's a very solid attempt, definitely. And that might just have pushed her up a place. But such domination in this so far by Luca Eckler. And it's the silver medal position now. She improves by 16 centimeters to 468. So the women's shot put F40. For those of short stature, here's Slavinska of Poland. Impact on pushing a racing wheelchair. She holds See, the European the record at use of their arms 8 metres 09. What she got with the first? Well, I can tell you it's out there near it. This is very tight indeed. She only set a record. The European, the European one back in June of this year. Renata Slavinska. Well, she's got it broken at 8.16. She's beaten her own mark by seven centimetres. She's in first place. In lane four, ranked number one in the world for Netherlands. Well, another great final coming now. The women's 200 metres T64, featuring the European champion Imgard Ben-Suzan of Germany, the new 100 metres champion Vale Bagansawinkel of the Netherlands, the world long jump champion Steph Reid of Great Britain, the silver medalist two years ago in the last Europeans, Laura Sugar of Great Britain, and Bria Tietze from Germany, A. Berliner. So Steph Reid, bronze in this 200 metres in Beijing in 2008. World Championships in 2011. So successful in the 200s, the long jump there. Silver in the long jump in Rio at the Paralympic Games. She's the long jump world champion, but Ganser Winkle, the 100 metres European champion from Monday, native of Amsterdam. Ben Suzanne, the reigning 400 metres world champion, and the defending European champion over 200 metres. Laura Sugar, can she improve in her silver from two years ago? Tita was sixth in the 100 metres final here. It is a stacked final, T64, single below prosthesis category. The final of the women's 200 metres. Reed, Van Ganserwinkel, Ben Susan, Sugar and Tita. Sarah. Full start. Full IAAF rules. They will not be charitable unnecessarily. The very first World Power Athletics Championships were actually held in Berlin back in 1994 in the Olympic Stadium before it was redeveloped. And they're looking at the blocks and it will be yellow. So that's okay then. And it looks to be against Van Ganserwinkel. So yellow you know, card issued to Van Ganserwinkel. We go again with Reed Van Ganserwinkel, Ben Susan Sugar. And she was a, a valiant form after winning her uh, gold medal. Your commentators were chatting with her after the success briefly. Can she do the double here? Great field in this women's 200 meters T64 final. Steph Reed in three. 
for Great Britain. Van Ganswinkel, Netherlands, four. Ben Susan of Germany in five. Sugar of Great Britain in six. Teets of Germany in lane seven. Now they're away in a very solid start by Laura Sugar for Great Britain in lane six. She's got a solid start. Ben Susan now looking to overtake as they hit the band. But Ganser Wiggles emerging as well. It's a good straight battle between the Netherlands and Germany. That classic rivalry on German soil. It's for Ganser Wiggle across for the Netherlands. She's coming close. She's struggling, but she looks like she's going to do the double. Ben Susan in second place, but Ganser Wiggle wins it. Ben Susan gets the silver. Sugar gets the bronze. 26.11 is a new world record. Beating the mark that Ben Suzanne set for Gatsawinkle world record in the 100 and now the 200 as well in the T64. Victory on the double. Golden glory. Such history. Lindy Arbe, as we head back to the long jump, women's T38. So a disappointment for Germany on the track a moment or two ago with taking the silver. What can Ave give them in the long jump? So here is now as a personal best and the championship record to Ben Susan. I guess that's what it's a mixed category with T44 in second and T64 as the winner. And the bronze goes to Laura Sugar of Great Britain, silver to Hong Kong Ben Susan of Germany. Well, no problem with the actual jump itself. It was tight. Four seventy-one improves her lifetime best. She's in second position still, though. So here is the leader, Ekla of Hungary. 524 with the first two fouls after that and that is another foul so she'll stay first but she's not giving herself an opportunity to actually improve on what she's done so far set the world record and European record in Paris just a couple of months ago she's got a championship record here but she's also got three fouls. I wonder if she's looking to break the world record here as well. And it's not an official world record, but it is the best time with a blade forever on my side. Now, Marlene Van Ganselwinkel, that new world record, 26.12, and the new categories, the world records, will be ratified on the 1st of January. Championship record as well, and Ben Suzanne with a championship record for the T44s. Vagansa Winkle shooting past Ben Suzanne, a brilliant duel between the Dutch and the German athlete. And Ben Suzanne, who claims silver in the 100 metres behind Vagansa Winkle, it's happened again. A new world record as well, and Sugar, bronze in the 100, and bronze here too. It's the same 1 2 3 as that 100 metres final. Steph Reed was in fourth place. Marvellous triumph for Marlene van Ganswinkel. Well, Marlu van Rijn is not competing at these Europeans. She's here as a spectator for a day or two. And I bet she impressed the same as us. Marlene van Ganswinkel. It's a PB today. It'll be a world record on New Year's Day. She gets the gold. Then Suzanne the silver. Championship record for her category. And Laura Sugar the bronze. Well, back to the track again. The women's 1500 meters T54. Gold medalist over 5,000 meters there. Switzerland. Manuela Shah. Won European Championship gold 2014 over 4, 8, 1500 and 5,000 metres. Trisha Keller of Switzerland, her compatriot, will be going as well, along with the Hamadi Kurt from Turkey, Vanilla Wallgren, who picked up bronze in that 5,000 metres for Sweden. 
Annika Zayen of Germany. Alexander Helbling, who was fourth in the 5,000 metres. She won silver in the 200 metres final yesterday, though. And Margaret Vandenbroek, who was fourth in the 200 metres, but took silver over 5,000 metres. Manuela Shah, the championship and European record holder. Madison de Rosario of Australia. Back in May of this year, she set the world record in Notville. So away they go. Once they come along over the finishing line for the first time, it will be three laps to go from there. But they'll be working their way around the track, trying to get themselves into a position to challenge that lady who's in front, Manuela Shah. And she's already got out to a 15 metre lead. It's a very dangerous thing to do if you're giving a lady of that ability 15 or 20 metres straight away. She's not even pushing at the moment, and they have 1,200 metres to go. Well, she didn't waste time in the 5,000 metres, and she's not wasting time in the 1,500 metres final. Manuela Shah looking for a second European title. Remember, she won all four gold medals that she went for in the European Championships in Swansea in 2014. She did not compete in Grosseto at the last Europeans two years ago. She was seventh in the World Championship final last year in London and fourth, agonizingly fourth, in the Paralympic Games in Rio. She's way, way ahead of the rest right now. Good gap back to second place. The Margaret Van der Broek had finished in the silver medal position. Behind Shah in the 5,000 metres final here and fourth in the 200. There's obviously a great array of races available for the T54s. You can't just be a sprinter. You can go up to the marathon. And Madison Rosario is the world record holder in this. Don't forget the Commonwealth Games marathon gold medalist in Gold Coast famously and uh, winning marathons and half marathons again last week. Look at how clear Shah is. Way, way clear of the rest. A big gap back. Looks like Kelly's beginning to make a little move up uh, alongside Bannerbrook with two laps to go. Yeah, how do you answer the uh, what this lady does? Manuela Shah. She just goes out. There's two categories I really have an affection for. It's the T11 and it's this one, the T54. Because as you said, you can go across so many different categories. It's already become a race to see who can pick up the silver and bronze medal because Manuela Shah is well out in front. She's about 70 metres out in front and by herself and trailing back the whole remainder of the bunch. Five of them back there really doing their best to try and keep up and they cannot do it. Manuela Shah, she'll come down, she'll take the bell and by that point she'll be around 90 to 100 metres ahead. The question is, who's going to get there? Vandenbroek is currently in second position in that bunching group as they'll head down in about 100 metres time to take the bell. But it's Manuela Shah who, with around 350 metres to go, is going to absolutely blitz this one. The only question is going to be is can she break her own championship and European record as the rest of the athletes go across the line? Well, Manuela Shah leads by about a third of a lap right now, and Kurt who won the 200 metres of the T53 on the outside with Vandenbroek. That's the main race at the moment because Manuela Shah has won this. She's got the gold hanging round her neck now. I wonder if she wants to go through the entire set again and win all the gold medals that are available to her. One final turn for Manuela Shah, and she's on the way to victory. Kelly's trying to make it a one-two. Helpling has made a very good move as well up. Way out of your picture at the moment. Shah is going to win this, and it's going to be a championship record by a long way. She's going to break it by 22 seconds. 333.40, a second gold for Manuela Shah. But now the big race is for the silver, and they are going to take this. Helbling is in for Switzerland to take the silver, and bronze goes to Vanabrook of the Netherlands with Wallengren fourth for Sweden. But what a champion. Manuela Shah truly is. 333.42, the new championship record. And she won it at a canter. A class above the rest of Europe. And you know she won't be satisfied with two goals. Helbling pushing up very well. And Vandenbroek, who finished in second place in the 5,000 metres final and fourth in the 200, now picks up the bronze here.
Absolutely marvellous, yet again. You expect nothing less from one Wallace Shah. Switzerland, one of the prime wheelchair racing nations. You have to love the T54 racing. It is pure out-and-out -out racing. Exactly 15 seconds of a margin. Shah gold to Helbling silver. And Vandenbroek mopping up the bronze. Wallengren in fourth position to add to her bronze in the 5,000 meters. So remember the last European, she won four medals, three silvers and a bronze. Well, she's got one bronze so far. Helbling well clear with silver in the 200 meters and silver in the 1500. You don't get that on the IWF second, but you don't get the likes of Manuel Shah in that either. Swiss one to them. Shah, Helbling, and the Dutch take the bronze, Vandenbroek in third place. So the women's shot put F40 final. We already saw something special. The new European record for that lady, Renata Slavinska. What's she got left in the tank? She leads, does the lady from Poland. That is quite big indeed. That is huge. 8.16 with a first. Breaking your own European record. Where has this gone? Where has this gone indeed for Slavinska? She likes it. Oh, it's a new world record. Breaking Marita Onyez record set at the Paralympic Games two years ago. She only took the sport up in the past two years herself. Slavinska, incredible. So back to the long jump. Lindy Arve, fifth attempt, penultimate round. Luca Eklas, our leader with our championship record that we saw earlier. And that's another fine attempt towards five meters. 471 in the fourth round, and that is a new lifetime best, but Eckler with that 524 is way out in front. The new world record holder with a 547. Well clear, on her way to gold. Ave copper fastening the silver medal position with that 466. Next final, men's 100 meters, T52. And again, uh, quality field in this. Bosch, four times world champion, the European champion 2014, he's in three. Skukas, Lithuanian, four. Bloom of Switzerland, five. Trinidad, Portugal, six. Adafo, seven. Guys, Bickler, eight. They're away in the first time of asking. Adafo Adawe, a new name for us to conjure with for Italy. Started off fantastically. Trinidad is moving up alongside. Beat Bosch, a pass faster. Beginning to come well in three. It's Trinidad against Bosch. Trinidad looks like he's going to pull it. He won the silver last time. It's gold now. Trinidad takes the gold. It's a new championship record. 18.57 seconds for Mario Trindade. Bronze in 2014, silver in 2016, and now gold in Berlin in 2018. 18.53, a new championship record. And the outgoing champion, Beat Bosch, going for three in a row, is denied, pushed down into the silver. What an emphatic final. Well, it was a strong start by him and by Hadafo and Dawe alongside. What a start by the young Italian. But then look at Trindade coming to his own. Bosch, we've seen so many times before, move into position. It looked like it was going to happen for him this time, but no. Trindade, European champion for the first time. Bosch the silver, and Hadafo and Dawe gets the bronze for Italy. Fantastic for him. But Mario Trindade wins his first major championship title. 18.53 seconds. 
that new championship record. Beat Bosch loses his title and he loses the championship record as well. What a magnificent start by Adapo. Adawi in the first place. This very talented looking Italian. Tridade with the championship record and Bosch just didn't have enough in the end to force him away. He's waited so long and finally he gets in. And having recently changed from Somalia, Farhan Adawi picks up the bronze medal. Tridade championship record 18.53, beat Bosch the silver 18.60 and Adafo Adawi of Italy the bronze 19. Point two five. Eckler, fifth attempt, penultimate round in the long jump. She's gone out to five meters twenty four, the new championship record. Her world record is five forty seven. Whole series of fouls up to this, but that's huge! That's massive! By Akla! She's gone well beyond five metres again! And that's not far off the world record! A champion elect! And in fine fashion! Well, there's no doubt whatsoever that this lady is going to win the gold medal. 5.39. So after 524 at the beginning, she's gone 539 championship record. But what about that lady there? A world record for her, Renata Slavinska. And he took up the sport two years ago. 8.50 meters. The women's shot put F40 winner. Smile indeed. Brilliant work. There's confirmation of it. Slavinska. With a world record 850, Lara Bars of the Netherlands picks up silver, and Struklic of Croatia in third place of the bronze. Silver in the eyes of Laura Bars. Will it be glory for Lindy Alve? Her final attempt in the competition. 471, that lifetime best in the fourth round. She needs something huge, and she has not got it. So Luca Eckler, the new world record holder on a championship debut, is the European champion for Hungary. Lindy Arv gave her literally everything. She's set out a couple of lifetime bests tonight and could offer no more than what she's given. 471 for the silver medal for Germany. Trena Wetziak, the bronze for Poland. Well, she would have so dearly loved to be a European champion on home German soil, but honestly, a wonderful set of marks by her standards. Hungary has a new sporting hero. Her name is Luca Eckler. The world record she was so close to. She was nine centimetres off it. A new championship record all the same. And a European gold for this 19-year-old. Her name is Luca, and she's on the top floor. Championship record 539. Linda Ave the silver 471, lifetime best, and Trena Verciak the bronze for Poland. Well, absolutely fantastic. Hungary improving all the time in athletics. Uh, fine powerlifting nation too. Very good actually in the para swimming too. Luca Eckler is their latest sporting star. That was a packed program, wasn't it? Two and a half hours of pure action. It's all over. We've got nothing left. We've run out of events. Absolutely tremendous night of action. Uh, 30 gold medals decided in the last two and a half hours. 22 on the track, eight in the field. You can't ask more than that. Thirty-six on day three. Well, just where do you start? It's been emphatic, identical, dethroning. The great Hannah Cockcroft finally on the track. We saw the race running to get the 
programme underway with goals for Denmark and for Sweden. Karina Pyme, a new championship record of the women's 400 metres. Marlena van Ganswinkel with another world record. Doubles in the 100 and the 200. And those world records to be ratified on New Year's Day in the new events. It's a lot to phone home about. Krea Basu with a championship record of the men's 400, 200. T20 also. Timothy Adolf defending his European title. Bill Quintana winning the 200 metres T11. And a nice crowd in the main stand here again to appreciate more magnificent action. And we saw race running for the first time in a major championships in both the men's and the women's. Seven athletes in total. This was the men's race. So here we go, the women's history. Denmark going well with Christiansen in lane six. It was won. The neighbours from Sweden also going well. By Nikolai Odegaard Christensen of Denmark. Halfway point, still Denmark, one up And that's Sweden. probably the way it should happen because this sport originated in Denmark 25 years ago. As he beat home Olaf the Silver Olsen. It is going to be Nikolai Odegaard. 26.98. Was the uh, eventual time that was given. Now, as you'll see, Hugo Correa in fourth place there in the same lane as Henrik Eriksson, so he found himself unfortunately disqualified. These athletes could not compete any other way, as you can see. But Nikolai Christensen, the first European champion in race running. Now, a great champion, former Cuban baseballer, professional, moved to Italy. Now, a champion discus thrower. And a champion on Dancing with the Stars as well. That was a world record, 46.07. A terrific, monstrous throw. Adds an extra 42 centimeters to his own world record. So Vanessa Wallace of Great Britain in the women's shot put F34 final, the seated category. The new season best for her of seven meters 45. For her to claim the gold medal. Ah, here's another fantastic champion in her day. She's been second best behind Vanessa Lowe, the last two European champions, but as Vanessa's now an Aussie, Atina Caroni, now finally European champion. And she performed very well in this, a lifetime best actually, of 4 metres 91 in the fourth round, with Gitta Hanen of Belgium, the former Mai Tai. Well, finalist, the silver medalist back in 08, taking the silver here behind Caroni, a great champion on the track and in the long jump lane as well. Schouten getting the bronze for the Netherlands, who also have the fourth place. Well, this 400 meters T20 final and a, a new name for us. She magnificently smashed the championship record in the heats yesterday. And Karina Pine doing the same here. A new European record and championship record also. 57.29 in her first major championship at European level. Her first major championship medal also, and it's a gold. Ahead of Shulian of Ukraine and Slovetska also of Ukraine. Men's T47, 100 meters final, and this an absolutely dramatic affair as well. As Poland's Michał Deris came out on top, it was so tight for the rest of the placing. Skrulla just edging the bronze head of James Hunter the Great Britain, but it's three European titles in a row for Poland's Michał Deris, and that a championship record 10.77 seconds. Well, we said there were plenty of gold medals decided in this evening session, 30 in total. That championship record there this year. 
Matthias Uwe Schultz. He never looked like he was going to be headed, did the German. He was strong all the way through. The new European champion. It's a very high standard shot put competition. And he led for a lot of it, frankly. He was the top seed in this F46 competition going into it. Finished ahead of Ibragimov in second. And the outgoing European champion, Andreas Skua of Lithuania in third. Improved with bronze, silver, and then gold. Then this here. Ronald Hertog is taken by Felix Strength. And Strength was moving at some speed. He never looked like he was going to be headed. Did strength. Herzog in second. That's Italy with pick up in third. But that there from Felix Strength. The championship record of 21.88. Seeing off Herzog and Simone Managrasso, who took the bronze in a lifetime best for the Italian. But it was all about Felix Strength who. Well, the Flying Finn got his second gold medal of these European Championships, and so emphatically too, Leo Peretati. One of many impressive wheelchair finals today. Slavinska with that world record in the F40 shot put, going beyond eight meters. Poland, nobody won gold, more gold medals than them. Across the city of the European Athletics Championships a fortnight ago, Britain won the same number of golds. They won a hatful here, and Slavinska with the latest to add to the collection. What delight when she realized she'd broken her own world mark. Eight meters 50, and another gold for Poland. And off she goes. So Savlinska wins the women's shot with F40. And another significant result today, the victory for Karia Denikin in the 100 metres of Hannah Cockroft. Certainly one of the highlights of day three, which was absolutely frenetic. Tonight we're all having a Berliner beer. Tschüss!